Hello and welcome to Jewellery Rescue. I'm Kat and I'm a girl on a mission to rescue and recycle the world's unwanted jewellery. Today we have a car boot sale thrift haul for you but I just wanted to start by showing you one of my recent rescues. I have upcycled this necklace using beads from two broken necklaces in a past um, charity shop bag of broken bits. Now these red glass ones here were designed by Max Niger, I may be saying that wrong, um, and his brother, the Niger brothers, back in the 1920s. They're Egyptian revival. You can see they've got, I think that's Tutankhamun on there, and then there's some hieroglyphics on these ones. They're red glass, absolutely stunning. And there were just five of these beads loose in a, in a bag that I unboxed here on the channel and a few of these little red ones. I've used every bead, every red bead here. In the bag, there was also a necklace from, I think the similar period in the 1920s, these lovely black glass faceted beads, and they had a sterling silver clasp. And I've mixed the two together to make a choker style with a pendant, because there was just enough beads to do that. And I'm pleased that I've managed to rescue it with beads from a similar age. I hope you like what I've done with it. Do drop me a comment and let me know what you think. It's brilliant to be able to get these beads that were over 100 years old and all the history that was in them back to life. So I've really been enjoying wearing that today. So let's get on with the thrift haul. We have three car boots worth of things. Not a lot, I'm afraid. I didn't go early, but I picked some cool pieces. So let's see what we think. So the first lot that I bought was four pieces for five pounds. There was this lovely gemstone stack. I think it's mostly quartz. There's a bit of citrine there and there's a bit of lapis in the middle. I think this is probably a sterling silver bale. Just spotted what might be a mark in there. I didn't think I could see a mark. I'm going to have to have a look through the loop on that. Perhaps there is a mark in there. If not, I will acid test it at some point. And that was just on a piece of leather um, but i've been wearing that on a long chain that's quite fun this lovely scottish agate style vintage pendant it's not silver but I just love the vintage style of it this lady also had lots of religious charms in different styles and i picked this one because i thought it might be silver she thought it was silver as well and i thought it would make, make a nice pendant it's quite a large size and then also this sterling silver chain, which I didn't properly look at it and I thought it was a necklace chain. It's not as clearly an anklet chain, but it's quite nice. It's got 925 markings and Italy on the back there. So I might hang a pendant, a little charm from that and upcycle it into an anklet. So I paid five pounds for those four. Then I found these really cool earrings which I don't know if you can see there, have like an enamel rainbow effect and then a little cubic zirconia in the middle. In fact, I don't think that's even a cubic zirconia. I think it's just a little bit of glass. But I thought they were really fun. They were 50p. Then these two spiders were 50p each. We've got a ring. And I think this might be resin in here. So it feels a bit light to be glass. And then there's a pendant I can, that's obviously, I think it was a necklace look that was attached on both sides, but I'm going to turn that into a pendant to go with the ring. Then I found a scarf clip. Um, I often wear long skirts with a sort of loose t-shirt, which I tie or tuck in at the front. And I thought it would be fun to just clip the bottom of the t-shirt with something pretty. And I've got a couple of skirts that are white and blue. So I got that for myself, that was 50p. And then this lovely wooden hair barrette, which is, I don't know, does that class as jewellery? We're going to class it as jewellery today. And what attracted to me on the back was it said Aloha and I have my honeymoon in Hawaii. So anything with a Hawaiian wording on it gets me. I thought that was fun for 50p. I don't think it's particularly old. And then, so that was from one boot. So it was a Sunday boot sale but I had one of my children with me and so I was having to look at the toys more than I was the jewellery sad times um, then this Sunday I went back again with my other daughter so more toys but I did find some cool pieces there's a beautiful necklace with pearls they're a really sort of ready colour 
um, absolutely gorgeous. This looks like it could be silver, but the clasp clearly isn't. So my feeling is that that isn't. But anyway, my mum has nabbed that one already, but I persuaded her to let me hang on to it so that I could show you on a video first. That was 50p, so that was a bit of a bargain. And then from the same seller, I bought myself these amazing earrings. Look at these. They just go on and on and they drape right down to my collarbone. I've just popped them onto new hooks for myself. They're not old, but um, I just thought they were so awesome. Like a rainbow with these ball chains on. No makers info. They're probably just from Claire's Accessories or somewhere like that. But I thought they were so cool. I've enjoyed wearing those this week. Then there was a guy that had sort of house clearance type things. And I picked up this one. Are we striving again? OK, I'm going to turn off that light that's causing issues and we'll see if we've got enough light to film. Sorry about that. Um, so this one was from a house clearance guy and I asked what he wanted to do for it and he said I could just have it. It looks like it might have something here of a mark, but I couldn't see anything when I looked through the loop. It was like it wasn't even there. So that will need testing. I don't know if it's turquoise or how light, but either way, it's pretty and I thought it would make a nice little pendant. We like free and the reason he said I could have that free was because I was going to buy this. Check this piece out. He said he bought it in Thailand and they look like dragons. I don't know what they're made of. Might be a plated base metal. I don't think it's silver. And it's on a very short chain. So to wear it as a necklace, I think it will need an extension adding. So that's probably what I'll do to make it wearable. How fun is that? So that was three pounds. I just thought it was so cool. I need to do a Google lens search actually and see if anything comes up on the symbol. Perhaps it does mean something symbolic. Shout if you know, of course, in the comments. And then I found in a bag of jewellery for 50p, this really pretty key has a cubic zirconia in the middle. I'm assuming a cubic zirconia. I'll check it with the presidium, but it's marked 925 and then NV. Anybody know who NV is? I can't think what that maker is. And the chain is also sterling silver, but it has a different mark on it. Let me see if I can get it clearer for you. It says STA and then it's got a little symbol, sorry, STE, which I'm assuming is sterling. Then there's a little symbol and then an A. Again, if you know what that is, please do let me know. And then you've got the 925 on the bottom. Yeah, it's just upside down. Really pretty. I like that one. What else did I get? I picked up this bag of children's beads because these large type of seed beads I use to make hoop earrings and they're really pretty colours. They kind of go, you know, we've got the Barbie film coming out, mermaid core's a big thing. I thought they would make some really pretty hoop earrings. So I paid a pound for all of that. And what I don't use will go into my children's workshops. And then I also bought a mystery bag for a pound. I was quite surprised to find this because this was quite late in the day. It was probably about 11 o'clock. Nobody wanted it, so we're going to unbox that and see if there's any treasure in it. But two other things to show you, though, before we do that. The first was a recent charity shop find that I've been meaning to show you. Let me zoom out a little bit. This vintage or possibly antique tiny little clutch bag. It's got probably paste sparklies in it, some of which have yellowed from the glue. It's got a beautiful leather lining that's probably lamb's leather. There's a little split in it there, sadly, but I'm assuming it's at least 100 years old, so it's not doing too badly. It's got these beaded tassels, so it's all beaded with tiny, tiny little beads. Can you imagine the hours that would have gone into that? So this was actually a charity shop find, and it was £5. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. I think I will list it. If, so if anybody can tell me any more, I'm assuming it's 1920s, but could easily be wrong. It wouldn't fit a mobile phone in there now, would you? It's, I mean, it's hard to see zoomed in on the camera, but if you look at it next to my hand, it really is tiny. 
that's a pretty one now this morning it's, it's wednesday today and there is a midweek car boot sale near me but there were only four stalls this morning so i did make one purchase which was this really cool box and it has two trays so i'm going to either use that for storing stock or possibly materials or i might use it on my dressing table for some of my own jewels it's two pounds cute little pine vintage box no jewelry though today sadly Right, let's see what's in this bag, shall we? Should I tip it all out? Let's make a bit of room. Okay, we have an intriguing little box. Metal Planet made in England. That's cute, isn't it? Oh, look, is this the lid? We have possibly an N or a Z. Let me just zoom back in for you. That's missing a couple of sparklies. Cute little pot though. And we've got a mood ring. That has definitely seen better days. I think that is probably beyond rescuing, sadly. What is this? Bond Street jewellery. Superior quality. There's a pin. It's lost its plating here, but it doesn't look like it's ever been worn. So it's been carved and then painted on the back with a rose isn't that sweet so it's sadly been lost to fair degree look there on the back so it's not wearable unless i turn that into a pendant which i could but i just love the packaging i think that might be a little museum piece rather than obviously rather than a wearable one love that what do we think 50s could be even earlier couldn't it 40s how cool, I like that one. I think I've had my pounds worth with that little curio. We've got a frog. He looks a bit like a ghosty. And he is a brooch, oh, but he's squashed. I might be able to fix that, we'll have a go. Or I could snap that off and turn him into a pendant. That would be quite fun. This is a similar style. Love, oh, that's a bottle opener. I'm uh, not sure what I'm going to do with that. I'll probably just go into a, a little box of free things that I give away. If I'm doing an event, this is a costume gold ring. Oh, it looks like a stacking set. It's quite pretty, but just plated cheap cheapy. Oh, I know somebody in the family who drives a mini. So that will probably be snapped off my hands. I'm assuming that's not an official one because I think it probably would say BMW somewhere on it though. Oh, this is cute, a little memory wire. Brace it, but for a little one, my little one probably will nab that. Sunny 2C or is that an O? No idea what that is, I'll look that up. Let's detach these. Oops. Well, these are fun, these dice beads. Those will go into my children's workshops. Tinkerbell keyring. Is she a Disney? Oh, she is a Disney one. So maybe I'll check that, see if there's a resale market for that one. We've got a dinosaur. Oh, that's a pretty poppy. That's a brooch. Let's just close that up so it doesn't spike me later. No markings, but that would be quite nice to list around the right time. Perhaps I could do a donation to the Poppy Fund. Best friends are oh, cute. I expect my daughter will probably nab that. A button. Isn't there always a button? That's quite a fun vintage one, though. Maybe I'll turn that into a focal point on a broken vintage necklace that needs fixing. A pair of lips, that looks like it might be a charity one. No markings. Quite fun, that'll probably be lotted up. I need to sort out my brooches at some point. An unmarked watch. And another one, they'll probably go into a lot as well. Loads of watches too. Let's have a look at this bracelet. I love these clasps. So these are what they call sister clasps, where they're on a hinge like that. I don't know. 
just plated cute though has the look what's this big heavy chain that's gone a bit rusty around the class so i think that will have to go into a craft bag so it's interesting it looks like a pin badge but it's not as keyring what is it is it car parts maybe who knows we've got a little keyring lot building up ocean blue we've got a new probably tourist piece necklace i think i will pull that apart because these beads make lovely hoop earrings they're nice for the summer festivals and things and then another one from the same brand they look like claire's tags or what i don't know if they're still like that they were when i worked there many years ago and that's a lovely piece of shell Wow, okay. I think I definitely have my pounds worth there. That's all I've got for you today. Please do um, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.